big cliche g'day folks and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting something brand new. This is the online version of Cards Against Humanity. It's called Cards for Humanity because it's doing a good thing. So as you can see there, a game for horrible people desperately trying to do good. Uh, these guys online aren't affiliated with Cards for Humanity. So what they've done is they've actually added a feature where you can donate to the Make-A-Wish Foundation for kids with cancer. So you can play this game with strangers or you can play the game with some friends. Today I'm going to be playing with strangers but next week and hopefully to carry on I'm going to have some good buddies joining me. Let's find some strangers. So I'm the fourth one to join. We have Sham Lam 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 7, Urgent Drip, Erica White, there's myself of course, one more possible player or two more possible players. But the game is beginning. So remember guys, it's got to be the most inappropriate. The new fad diet, let's have a look. Jerking off into a pool of children's tears, that's always a winner. <laughs> Asians who aren't good at math or incest, ew. I think I'd still have to go with my answer for this one, but uh, Shemma7 is choosing incest. Fair enough. That is an interesting diet. So next up, what will I bring back in time to convince people that I am a powerful wizard? Let's have a look. Michael Jackson, no. I'm thinking Bill Nye. Bill Nye the science guy. That's pretty sciencey. Let's bring him back. Porn stars. Inappropriate. And Jafar? Jaf Jaf Jafar? No, nah, it's Bill Nye. Bill Nye for the win. And there's my first point on the board, guys. Okie dokie. I don't know with what weapons World War 3 will be fought, but with World War 4, it'll be fought with... Uh, <laughs> a German dungeon porn. <laughs> a cop who is also a dog, or getting hilariously gangbanged by the blue man... Oh my god, the blue man group. Yeah. But I won! Nice one. Thank you, Erica White. German dungeon porn for the win. Now I'm the card tsar. Um, so, what would Grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? There's been some really funny answers for this one. A brain tumour? No. Um, Bosnian chicken farmers? <laughs> yeah, a botch circumcision. <laughs> so, Shamalalalala gets the win from me for that one. Okay, this month's Cosmo. Spice up your sex life by bringing something into the bedroom. Michael Jackson? No. Uh, Genghis Khan? No. <laughs> Vigorous jazz hands. I'm sure we could do something with that. <laughs> and I win! Yay! Three points for me. I am so smart. I am so offensive. I think that's the point. The TSA guidelines now prohibit Michael Jackson. I've been waiting for a Michael Jackson answer for this one. So, yeah, I think, um, dead or alive, I think the TSA probably would prohibit Michael Jackson on airplanes now. Figgy pudding? Making the penises kiss? Nah, it's Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson for the win! <laughs> Alright, Erica, it's your turn to be the star. Lifetime presents Blank, the story of Blank. Uh, well, I'm gonna go for a person here to make it. Yep, yeah, Barack Obama. Lifetime presents Barack Obama, the story of <laughs> overpowering your father. I don't know. It fits, but it's not overly uh, offensive. Um, I wonder which. Oh, really? I wouldn't have picked it. And I won. So there you go, guys. Just short and sweet. I won the game. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this. Our oh, urgent drip left. Loser. Um, as you can see there, $381 has been donated to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So at least these guys are making up for being offensive with being charitable. Okay, guys. I do have to go now. But remember, say good day to your neighbour.